This video illustrates the correct procedure for installing FlowRock adhesive anchors. We will demonstrate a vertical down dry hole installation of threaded rods with FlowRock 5 FR528 Max adhesive in solid concrete. Preparation Always store cartridges at plus 5 degrees Celsius to plus 25 degrees Celsius before use. Do not warm cartridges in water or in a microwave. FlowRock is not recommended for overhead applications. Please begin by familiarizing yourself with the UCAN's technical manual and MSDS sheet or material safety data sheet. Check that you have all the items required for the installation ready. These will include a drill bit, nylon or light gauge steel brush, blowout pump or compressed air, anchor rod assembly, and the FlowRock FR528 Max cartridge, static mixing nozzle, nozzle extension for deep holes, and a PA3500 manual or a PA5000 battery powered dispensing tool. You will also need to wear appropriate personal safety gear such as goggles, gloves, dust mask, and earplugs. Finally, make sure that the drill bit length and diameter match the rod diameter and the hole embedment depth. Please refer to UCAN's technical manual for these details. Drilling and cleaning the anchor hole. Mark the anchor location where the holes are to be drilled. Allow for adequate anchor spacing and edge distances. Details are provided in the UCAN technical manual. Set the drill depth either with a machine's drill gauge or with a piece of tape on the drill bit. Drill the hole perpendicular to the concrete surface and to the required depth. Clean the hole thoroughly using a nylon or a light gauge steel brush and blowout pump or compressed air. Anchor installation. You are now ready to install the anchor. First, inspect the threaded rods to make certain it is free of oil or other contaminants. Then, check the expiry date of the cartridge label to verify that the adhesive is still usable. Next, replace the protective cap on the FlowRock cartridge with the static mixing nozzle. When the nozzle is firmly screwed in place, insert the cartridge into the PA3500 manual dispensing tool or battery tool. Ensure that the cartridge is properly seated in the tool's carriage so that the plungers can move freely inside the cartridge. Dispense adhesive to the side until a consistent gray color without any white streaking is achieved. This indicates that the adhesive is fully mixed and ready for anchoring. Stop dispensing by fully releasing the trigger and pushing it forward. Completely letting go of the trigger and pushing it forward will disengage the tool's push rod, thereby preventing unnecessary spillage. Insert the static mixing nozzle into the anchoring hole until the nozzle end reaches the bottom of the hole. Dispense the adhesive from the cartridge while slowly withdrawing the nozzle from the hole. At least half the hole should be filled.
Insert the threaded rod into the hole, pushing it down while turning it clockwise until the rod reaches the bottom of the hole. The installed anchor must not be disturbed or loaded before the specified curing time has elapsed. Refer to the UCAN technical manual for curing times. This completes our demonstration. For further information, refer to the UCAN Technical Manual or contact UCAN's Technical Department.